What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today I'm going to show you how to hack Facebook games and Flash games. First things first, please watch the whole video. If you ask questions in the comments and I've already answered the question in the video, I probably won't answer the question in the comments. So please just watch it. Uh, there's a lot to learn and I think you'll enjoy it. All right. So with that out of the way, the first thing I want to mention is legalities. All right, now typically you as the player doing this stuff yourself is completely fine. However, it stands to reason that if you are logged in Facebook with your account and you're trying to hack a game in there and they're monitoring it, you could get banned from that game. Um, or if they're charging for certain things and you're trying to circumvent that, who knows if they can, if they're monitoring for that and whatever. So do this stuff at your own risk. I'm going to be using free-to-play games that don't ask for any money, don't charge anything, and yeah, so those are what I'm using for my examples. So first things first, the tool that you're going to be using to cheat with is called Cheat Engine. You've probably seen it or heard of it if you've looked for videos on this before. It's a very popular application. No, it does not have a virus. It has some bundled adware. So, you know, that's for the creator because he makes this stuff for free. And Open Candy is what will install. You can read all about it on the internet, how to uninstall it, whatever. But if you read the application installation carefully, you can install the application without installing any of that. All right, so you click this big button here. You'll download Cheat Engine, install it. That's all set up. Next thing, Chameleon Browser. All right, so this is like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, whatever. This is just another internet browser. I like using this browser to do this stuff because it makes it very simple to find values in the stuff that we're going to be looking for. It's a lot more complex in Firefox and Chrome. So download this. If you know what you're doing, um, click on this, download portable version. It's a 7-zip file. You just need to extract the files. Otherwise, download the installer, install it. It's a free and open source browser. I don't think there's anything bundled with this, but you should always read your installation stuff to make sure that, you know, if you install anything extracurricular that, you know, <laughs> you've agreed to it knowingly. So anyway, now that you have Chameleon Browser, once you've downloaded that and installed it, start it up. I'm in Chameleon Browser right here, right now, so this is what it looks like. Uh, last of note, I'll have these links in the description, the links for everything that I'm doing. Okay. So, now that you've got Cheat Engine installed, you've got Chameleon Browser installed, the first thing that we're going to do, you're going to log in to whatever game you, you want to try to do this with on Facebook. I'm playing this game Super Sergeant Shooter 3, and it's kind of like a Doom clone, the original Doom for PC. All right, so let's say we want to hack this game. All right, we want to try to hack ammo and health. So the first thing that you'll want to do is start up Cheat Engine from wherever you installed it from. And once it comes up, what you want to do is click this button right here. And you want to look for K-Million, Chameleon. This is what you want to look for in the list. And then you double click that. And now Cheat Engine is attached to this browser. So anything that we do in this browser, we can scan for like values and memory and stuff. So yeah, all right. So now with that in mind, I'm gonna go start a new game here and we'll put it on very easy so that, you know, you if you wanna hack games and first find your values, you put it on very easy. So theoretically you'll take less damage and stuff like that. It'll make it easy for you to find the value instead of dying quickly. All right, so here we go. We've got ammo. That's one of the first things that we can always look for. So see how we have a number of 50 there? So what you can do is here in Cheat Engine, you can say 50, put the value there and say first scan. All right, these are all memory addresses having to do with this application with the number 50 in them. All right, so presumably one of these will be our ammo. So then all you got to do is go in the game, take a shot. All right, we're at 49 now. So I come in here and I say 49, next scan. All right, so we've whittled down the results quite a bit. So let's go back in the game. All right, and let's take another shot. All right, so these three changed. 
That's what red values indicate, that something changed. These did not change. But what we could do is say 48. We're looking for a new exact value of 48. Next scan. One of these is going to be our ammo. So you can double click each of these. It brings them all down into this list here. And whenever you check this box next to a value, that will lock the value. It will keep it at whatever it's at. All right. So the first thing that you could do to see if you did indeed find ammo, you can take these three values and just lock them all. And then come back in the game and fire some shots. All right. A ammo is staying at 48, so presumably we found our ammo. You can just keep those three locked if you want for the duration of the game. Let's see if it applies for uh, this weapon here. Okay, suffice it to say, I think we found ammo. So, now we have ammo. Maybe the next thing that we want to find is health here. All right, so this is one of the things that some of you might have questions about. So we're gonna do a new scan here, and I'm gonna get rid of this 48. Now, if we searched for this number of 94, we would end up finding this number right here. However, when we tried to lock it, it wouldn't actually be health. And that has to do with value types. So, just know that if you have spent your time to search for a value and it looks like you found it but nothing seems to be working, one of the potential things is that you didn't find the actual value. So this drop down box right here with value type, you want to select all. All right, And don't worry about what it means right now if you have no clue what this stuff is. Just select all. And now what we want to do is under scan type here with this drop down box you want to select unknown initial value. See how this says 94%? Because it's a percentage, the actual number that represents health in the background could be anything. It could be a thousand. And 94% of a thousand is 940 or whatever. So we're searching for an unknown value for all value types. So let's do the first scan. All right, so now we'll come back in the game and we want to take some damage and this is where having it on very easy will help out because you take less damage so uh, health decreased but then it increased because there was a health pack behind me that I picked up so from the time that we did our scan there we remember we had 94 percent now it's up to a hundred percent so technically the value increased so we can say increased value and go next scan we're looking for an increased value compared to the last one now see how these are changing how there's red here that means these values are changing these numbers and that's good for us because we know our health hasn't changed since the moment we just hit next scan. So all these ones that have changed that are different, we know that doesn't have anything to do with our health. So what you can do is from the drop down box here, select unchanged value. Our health value hasn't changed, so we're looking for an unchanged value. And this just helps you take your results way down because initially they'll be really high like this. All right, so we're gonna go take some more damage here. Right. So escape and decreased value because our health went down. All right. See all these values that are changing. We'll try unchanged value again. Now you can set up hotkeys by going edit settings, uh, hotkeys, and you can set up some hotkeys for like decreased value, unchanged value, stuff like that. So that way you don't have to keep coming back into here and selecting this and going unchanged blah 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 all right so we're gonna take some more damage there we go decreased value come back in here get shot again come on guy all right decreased value let's do it again decreased value do it again all right decreased value all right we're getting there down to 18 results that's good decreased value okay so it should be one of these numbers see how this says 4 and this says s but these numbers 3805 3060 these two are the same now basically 
this has to do with the value type. So the number is just represented in two different ways. So if we had been searching for the original one of four, we would have found this number and this number and this one, that one, and so on, these ones with four. But the ones we're interested in are these huge numbers, floating point values. Those are the ones that we are interested in. All right. So what you can do is bring these down, double click each of these. So yeah, you want to whittle your results down basically as much as you can, okay? That's kind of what you're going for. And to start, you could try locking all these just like we did with the ammo. And then let's see if our health stays. All right, it went down temporarily. But, it looks like we're good to go. So, right there we've set this game up to where we have infinite health and we have infinite ammo. And then you could end up finding the same for armor or whatever. Um, let's go ahead and unlock these values and let me see if there is an add health thing that, like, respawned over here. Nope, it didn't respawn. That's okay. All right, so see how these red ones keep changing as we were walking around these ones? We can, um, we could get rid of those from our list here because they're changing while we're walking around, even though our health was the same. So that would be another way you could take your results down even more to try to get to the true values. All these ones that have a 64 accompanying them, you know, our percentage here is 64, so we know that these related numbers with the same memory address here would be the ones that we would go for. All right, so that's essentially that. And this is the same kind of premise that we're gonna be using for a flash game here, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click new scan and I am going to delete all these because we don't care about them anymore. We're going to the next game, delete. All right, and this game is Strike Force Heroes 2, and it's kind of a similar thing. So we want to start by looking for ammo. So see how our ammo is 30? All right, so I took a shot. Normally I would have started with a scan for 30, but now it's a 29. So you could keep your value type to all if you want. We could start searching for 29, first scan. This is why I like looking for chameleon, or why I like using chameleon for this stuff, because typically we would have to change what we attach to if we're in Chrome. See how Chrome has all of these different processes? These are all tabs I have open in Chrome on my other monitor. So that's why I like chameleon browser for all this. All right, so take a shot. We're down to 28. Next scan. Okay. See how there's values that are changing there? Let's just say unchanged value. And here we go, we're down to these. Oh, look, that one changed and this one changed. <laughs> Next scan for unchanged. So this one here, that looks like it's probably going to be our ammo. So let's set it to 30. And that changed, that didn't work. So what did we do? Let's go next, uh, I'm sorry, new scan. Let's start from scratch here. So we see 27 here, but let's, instead of searching for a number that we can see there, let's start with an unknown initial value and value type to all and go first scan. Just like we did before. Okay. <coughs> Decreased value. You know, and let's say we picked up ammo. We, we gained ammo. Like right now, it's 26. Let's say we gained ammo and it took us up to 30 then you would search for an increased value. All right, so depending on how you make that value change will depend on the next scan type that you do. We see all these values changing and we know that our ammo hasn't changed since uh, we last scanned, so we could say unchanged value. That took results down by like six million, so that's good. Okay, so let's take another shot. Let's look for decreased value. Okay, you could even try this. See how we're at 25, now we're at 24. You could say decreased value by, and then put one there. But we don't know if that's how it's working. Values could be working in increments of 0.5 or something like that. So I'm just going for decreased value right now. 
Alright, let's do it again. Alright, see these numbers? See how weird these numbers look? They don't look anything like the actual number on the screen there. Well, flash games are typical for that. They have these weird types of values that they use. Alright, so you could bring all four of these down. See, once again, we have the same memory address, but two different representations of it. Alright, so you could bring both of these down. Um, and let's just try locking these two, the ones that had S by them, the floating point values. And let's see what happens. All right, so I'd say we shot well past 19 there. So there we have infinite ammo in this flash game. All right, and then you would pretty much do the same thing for health down here, this 85. You do the same thing for health. If it's XP, same thing. Money, same thing. Just looking for increased or decreased values. Or, worst case scenario, you can try looking for changed values and unchanged values. That can take forever. But if you absolutely can't find a value, then it may be that. Okay? Um, so, with that said, I want to mention a couple of, of last things here. First of all, edit settings. I should have mentioned this earlier, but, you know, everything that I said applies. Um, so here you would go to scan settings, and if you can't actually debugger options, if you find that you can't attach to something or no values are coming up or whatever, then you want to select this, use VEH debugger. Alright, you're probably on Windows debugger, but try selecting use VEH debugger, and that should pretty much set you up to get things working that don't appear to be working. All right, um, That's the first thing. The second thing that I wanted to mention is... I can't remember! Hey! I guess that's what happens sometimes whenever you just record a video off the cuff. But anyway. Um, yeah. I know what I was going to say now. If, you, if there's a video, a video... If there is a value that you can't find... All right, it might be because, especially on Facebook, if you have certain games like, I don't know, Candy Crush or whatever, some of those values are server-side. Server-sided on the server, basically meaning you can't alter the value yourself without doing some serious hacking, like crazy hacking, doing stuff that is way outside the scope of this video. So suffice it to say, there will be some games you simply cannot hack. You can't change the values, it'll look like you can, but they won't actually change on the server side because the server knows what's going on and if they see you have some kind of crazy value that you changed, once the packets get back to them, it'll just simply correct the value or keep the true value on their end. Alright, so that could be what the issue is. But anyway. So this is pretty much just a, a quick overview of how to hack Facebook games and Flash games. Feel free to ask some questions below. I probably won't be able to help you hack a specific game that you're interested in because I just don't have the time. Um, and I get a lot of requests for stuff. So I'm not ignoring you unless I answered one of your questions here in the video. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this informative. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please share it with others. And uh, yeah, also if you're interested in Cheat Engine, I have a whole huge tutorial series of like 20 or 30 videos or something, starting from beginner level, working your way all the way up to advanced stuff, really advanced stuff, well beyond the stuff I covered in this video. So I'll have a link to that below. Make sure you check that out um, and you know, let me know your thoughts. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.